This reading is for my beautiful Sagittarius. I want to say thank you to all my subscribers, all my new subscribers. Welcome. If you haven't already hit that bell button, hit that bell button at the bottom so you can get a notification each time I upload. I am changing slowly, but change takes time. Rome wasn't built in a day. Please don't give up on me. So this person wants to wants you to be patient with them. They're saying that they're changing slowly, but um, what they saying? But change takes time. Rome wasn't built in a night. I mean, what Rome wasn't built in a day. So this person wants you to be patient with them. Okay. Um, while they go through these changes. They saying, please don't give up on me. And they are absolutely right. Rome was not built in a day. And, um, you know, depending on where people at, you know, because everybody on different timelines on their journey, you know, um, change is not overnight, you know. Some people have been, uh, especially depending on how long you've been suppressing change, you know. Um, but it's a process, you know. But once you start it, you know, give yourself a pat on the back, you know, because at least you, you know, you started the process. Some people don't ever even want to change, you know. But whoever this person is, they just, you know, they saying, please don't give up on me. Give me more Holy Spirit. Thank you. You help me realize that I do deserve love despite my upbringing. So maybe this person um definitely had a rough upbringing. Maybe this person felt like they weren't deserving of love. Uh, maybe this person never experienced a healthy connection. Maybe this person never even seen someone, you know, be loved. Okay. And then here you go, Sun Siege. Your lovable self. I just seen 303. This person is saying, I'm being divinely guided towards you. We were made for one another and I now believe it. This person believes that you guys have a strong divine um, connection. This connection is very intense. This person could have said some things to you. Um, I'm hearing I didn't mean it, so this person didn't mean it. Somebody was real foolish. Somebody even was lying to themselves, thinking, okay. Somebody was lying to themselves. They didn't want to believe how strong this connection, I mean, how strong this relationship was between you, you and them. But it had something to do with the upbringing. I feel like you walked away from this energy, but when you walked away from this energy, you, um, you, like, a, a, a part of them has been missing. Like, you took a part of them, I heard. My focus has always been my career. I'm trying to provide you the life you deserve. So this person could be very career driven, very focused on their finances. This could be also somebody who even put work before their job. I mean, put work before their relationships, their connections with other people. Um, this could have been with somebody who had a, um, didn't have much in their upbringing. Okay. This could be somebody who works a lot and they feel like, you know, if I, if I provide, that should show you that I love you. If I provide, then, you know, um, it should show you that I care, you know. Um, and that's just not the case with you. There's more, you know, you want, you, want, you want to see in this person's heart that they love you and they care, you know. There's somebody who could have, you know, allowed finances to be like, that's my way of showing you I love you. That's my way, no. They don't show you who this person really is just because they can provide. I feel like it forced you to walk away. I don't, I, this person is saying no one can take your place. This can be somebody who you spend on, a, you can spend a lot of time on the phone with for a long time. Somebody feels like they lost a part of them when you left. Something about this person's upbringing, you know, I feel like they didn't have much. And it, it, they work really hard because they don't they don't want to ever experience that. They fear that.
but they neglect, you know, genuine connections like yourself, Sunseeds, when they put their career before you, instead of making time, you know, taking time out for, you know, to spend time with someone who's as, as important as you are to them. But they're changing, they realizing that. So to the bottom. You are the only one to set boundaries with me. At first it upset me, but I know now you did it for your own good. This is somebody who is not used to people telling them no. Or not getting their way. Mm -mm, no, 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 no. They said you are the you are the only one to set boundaries with me. At first it upset me, but I know now you did it for my own good. I doubt this relationship because you are too good to be true. <laughs> Somebody doubted it because they feel like you're too good to be true. Mm. There are good people out there. Good people out there. Mm -hmm. I'm running to them often or a lot. Because God, you know, keep them very much protected. But they out there. Holy Spirit, give me some message where um, I'm changing slowly, but um, change takes time. Or was it both of the day? So we have strategizing, putting together an offer you cannot refuse, planning a next move. <laughs> Somebody wants some privacy, some alone time with you as well. I just heard. This person is, um, they say don't give up on me, Sunseeds. Don't give up. This person is definitely strategizing, trying to put together an offer that you cannot refuse. <laughs> I heard their next move will be their best move. Mm. Somebody wants to make you a priority. Yeah, and they're getting advice from friends. Yeah, people are helping them. This person wants to apologize. They're going through it. It's a spiritual detox. Yeah. Since this heartbreak, since this separation, this person been going through a spiritual detox. Releasing negative things. And, you know, this person could have definitely went through a rebirth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they in love. Look, in love, wish, granted, enlightenment. I can't ignite it all. I'm not playing with you, Sunsteed's energy. This person is in love with you. Loved you yesterday, love you still, and always will. You are my purpose fulfilled. You are my sun, moon, and stars. You are my everything. Enlightenment. The truth has been illuminated. I can't hide from what you showed me. Night and armor. I want to show you what real love is. Protect your heart and show you an everlasting love. Mm. I heard somebody feel like they still get butterflies. <laughs> I heard somebody feel like they still... Okay, so maybe you've been with this person for a while. And you know, usually... Okay, so you know, usually, you know, the beginning of the stages, you know, you get the butterflies, you know, you be feeling all... <laughs> all good and stuff. And then, you know, like, sometimes, slowly, you know, it, you know, it die off. But somebody feels like you still get them butterflies. And for it to be communicated to me like that, that means you could have been with this person for a while... But they still feel like the same, like from the very first time they met you. Somebody wants to spend their life with you, I just heard. <clears throat> What's this? I'm um, strategizing. I'm changing, but... 5D. You made me realize that we are one. Meet me in the stars tonight. Somebody said, you made them realize that you guys are one. Me being the stars tonight. So you guys could definitely be together, already in a 5D talking. Okay. Chatting up, chilling, doing all of that stuff. This is a very strong connection. Somebody feels like you're all they need. It's something about your personality. It's very different. It stands out. 
Yeah, they love everything about you. Somebody thinks you fly. Maybe this person feel like you dress real fly. It's gonna be somebody who compliments your dressing a lot, just your style. Give me more Holy Spirit on the strategizing the 5D. Candice, you are my muse, my inspiration to create. You ignite my soul. You do it for this person. Your love, it like, it drives this person like in a good way. Like it just, it gives this person like an extra boost. And they, they, they don't, they, 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 they never seen nothing like this. They never experienced nothing like this. I'm hearing anything you want from me, you can have it. You help somebody believe that these connections are real. It's not just a fantasy. To the point where somebody think that it says, where is that? I doubt this relationship because you are too good to be true. Damn. Not only are you perfect in the eyes, not only are you beautiful or handsome, not only are you smart and intelligent, not only do you got a banging style that they love, but you also is the one who have boundaries. That no matter how much you love, how much you care for a person, you're not gonna let anyone, anyone violate that, you know? Disrespect you. You stick up for yourself. You love yourself. You know your soul. You know your worth. 1313. 13. Somebody has a, a very good feeling about you. Yeah. Look at this. Divine feminine and divine masculine. Y'all back to back. Wow. You are a goddess who healed me and transformed me to my higher self. Divine masculine, aware and awakening to the divine calling, ready to take action, protect and provide. This person sees their life with you. They see their future with you. I feel like you change, you evolve, you went through a transformation. I feel like the change for this person was your divine masculine is that they went through a heart chakra awakening and it has the mushy and they feelings want to express themselves show compassion mm -hmm. be gentle understanding love this could be somebody who's used to always making like head over heart decisions yeah career driven this person is drowning in their feelings now. Mm. Love is on the back burner until I'm financially stable and money motivated. But this is somebody who's already, uh, my focus has always been on my career. I'm trying to provide you the life you deserve. This is somebody who, I told you, they focus more on their stability. Something happened in their um, upbringing. And totally, I'm picking up. Something happened in their upbringing that they could have lacked, didn't have much in the upbringing. And because of that, they work really hard because that's that place. If it, they fear that, it, it scares them. Yeah, look, dance in love, proposal, and head over heart. I told you, this is somebody who made head over heart decisions all the time. They always put love on the back burner. Heart says yes, but the mind says no, mental pain. And then they suffer from it, you know? And they use work to, you know, to distract them from, you know, actually feeling, you know. It says dancing in love. I'm su I'm surrendering to the I'm surrendering to this connection of my soul and allowing us to dance in love. Proposal, taking the next steps in a relationship. Let's move in together and get married. Somebody wanna get married? That's what they strategizing. They said they they coming up with something that. Uh, what is this? Strategizing um, an offer that you cannot refuse. A light man came back out. Mm. 
This person also could have put you in a love triangle with someone else. And they want to apologize about that. For some of you guys, the apology is a ring. It's a proposal. For others of you guys, because that's not going to be here for everybody. Everybody is not getting engaged. Everybody is not getting married. For some of you, uh, for others of you guys, it's just that this person just want, um, you know, they want to take this relationship to the next step. Okay. Yeah, you've been patient with me during this journey. The wait is over. True love is here. Mm. Mm, what's this card? That just flew out like that. Look how it just said. All right, Twin Flame. Twin Flame just said. So I should have known. Twin Flame, so I should have known. I should have known this with y'all twin. I should have known this with y'all twin. You see how we're like this, I see? And that, this person's like, they wanted to come out. You see how it just flew out? I should have known this with y'all twin. Or how that was so mean. Y'all twin is not playing. They said they know this is a once in a lifetime type of love. You feel like home. You are the one. Yep. Give me more Holy Spirit. You help me realize that I do deserve love despite my upbringing to a plane. Thank you. This person could be a singer. Maybe you're a singer. Somebody could be in the music industry. Maybe somebody's a rapper, R&B singer. Somebody can write music. Somebody can be a producer, performer. Somebody could promote, um, you know, like parties and stuff like that. Somebody could write music. Possibly a DJ. Somebody could play the guitar. Mm. They could use music to express themselves. What's this card? Twin Flame. Yeah, head over heart. Heart says yes, but the mind says no. Mental pain. This is somebody who made a head over heart decision. I'm hearing you got this person wide open. <laughs> I just you got the so I see you got the person nose wide open. See, I hear that a long time. Whoever this man or woman is, you got them open. What's his head over heart? Intervention. Expect a miracle. Divine intervention. Ugh. Divine intervention is pushing the two of you together. Nine oh nine. Somebody's whole life has changed because of this love. I feel like this both of you guys though. I said that. I said that. What did I say, Sunsees? I said you went through it. I feel like you went through a change too. You went through a powerful change. But I said, it's something about them. I feel like this person went through their heart chakra awakening. Look at all of this love. Look at this whole... Can you see that? Yeah. This person went through a heart chakra awakening. Their heart chakra is, a, is a awakened now. Before it wasn't. It's too much green. It's, it's all green in one pink. Y'all. Yeah. This person is ready now. Before they wasn't, this person could have had a lot of friends around them, a lot of people around them. They weren't ready before. Somebody is more of a man now, more responsible. Yeah. It says you. You make me feel alive. I choose you without a doubt. My heart yearns for you. It was you. It was you. It was you. It was you. I'm being divinely guided to come towards you. What's this Holy Spirit? Psychic. Your intuition scares me. How much do you really know about me? So this person feels like you have psychic abilities. Yeah, and it scares this person. This person wants to know how much do you... Yeah, look at this. Yeah, divine time and player and power couple. It says, I'm being divinely guided towards you. We were made for one another, and I now I believe it. Somebody knows that they meant to share this their life, their word, this world with you. But it says divine timing. Mm -hmm. The universe always delivers in divine timing. Be patient and trust the process. 
player. Immature lover that lacks emotional intelligence. Beware of the intentions. What did I say before I see these cards? I feel like somebody is more like, like mature now, more responsible, a man or a woman. And it says power couple. Mm-hmm. This this person made a uh, um um they made a big difference in their life. All because they knew that you were special to them. They knew that they really wanted this. Mm. Mm. I'm in love with you. This this couldn't be just it couldn't be just that. I have evolved and this is what I want. This person know what they want. Your intuition scares me. How much do you really know about me? It's something about your psychic ability, like your psychic um, gifts, your abilities. You have a strong intuition. You don't have to be psychic. You just could be someone with a strong intuition. You know, a great discernment. And somebody want to know how much do you know? Yeah, I'm not even looking down at this little love triangle. Ooh, child. If there's any other energy that's interfering, you would definitely pick up on that right away. Yeah. And they know that they can't get over on you. That's why they do. Ooh, this person tried it. <laughs> they tried it. What's uh, my focus has always been my career. Comfort zone. I'm releasing fears and stepping out of my comfort zone to come close to you. Hmm. This is somebody who doesn't like, they don't like change. Because career was clear power with comfort zone. This is somebody who likes to stay in one spot. It's hard for this person to make change. And they knew if they would change, not for you, but for this connection, you was going to leave. You wasn't going to deal with a player, someone who has third parties. And, you know, it's cool that they know, you know, where you guys stand. But you're not going to be a third party to no one, twin or not. <laughs> you get spiritual detox, surprise, evil eye. There's a lot of people sending you guys this connection, evil eye. Life is full of surprises, and I have something special planned just for you. This person could be releasing friends, family, places, you know, whoever was getting between this connection, growth, and fantasizing. 3D. I feel like you grew a lot from this connection as well. This person fantasizes about your future together. That's why Spirit is saying divine timing. Because this person is still, it says, I'm changing slowly, but change takes time. Rome wasn't built in a day. Please be patient with me. I'm sorry, please don't give up on me. Mm -hmm. I said sorry too many times in this reading. Somebody's always doing stuff and saying, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's why Spirit is saying, mm, this person wants you to be patient with them while they be out here. You don't have any third parties, you know, all that. Being a player, still, still love triangles and all of that. They're changing. They're changing. It's just that they're not completely there yet. This person made a lot of changes. They, they maturing, becoming more responsible. So it's like little baby steps. They're doing little things. They're just not completely all the way there yet. What is this? Spiritual detox. Release the negative thoughts. People may just... Um, release the negative thoughts and people may just spiritual awakening, cleanse, and rebirth. So this person is going through a rebirth break now. They're not all the way there. They just started the process. It's like it's somebody just opened the door. Shattered. Old habits are breaking down and a new version of them is being revealed. Yep. Shattered. Mm-hmm. I transform into my higher self because of you. Your energy changed me. Your energy changed this person. And they know that. Let's get you guys some uh, messages and close this out, okay? Something could be happening in a week. Mm. 
Can you send more messages home, Spirit, before you pull up and die for the flag, too? Seven of Pentacles. First card out. Under the bottom, King of Cups. Somebody is in love. They want to invest. They, they This person knows that they want this connection with you. They see you a part of their future. When it comes to investing and growing with and putting their time energy, is is you for them. They want long term. Okay? They want long term. This is somebody who wants to provide, give you a life that they feel like you deserve. King of Cups to the Nine of Cups. Yeah. They see you as wish fulfillment. Nine of Wands. That's somebody who was in and out um, chapters in their life. They going through a rebirth for a new time. Or for I mean, new time for a new chapter. Yeah, they clearing out old energy. You know, I feel like divine is preparing them for this new energy. Yeah, three of cups. There's a reconciliation here. Yeah, two of cups. Look at this. King of Cups, Seven of Pentacles with the King of Cups, Nine of Cups. This person see you as wish fulfillment. Nine of Wands, Nine Nine. I'm hearing this this separation been real painful. Somebody feel like they can't be with nobody else but you. Three of Cups. They want to reconcile. Yup. Two of Cups. Somebody feels like they know exactly what they gotta do now, and they know they gotta make this change. They're sad. Wow. Somebody's sad because you had to walk away. You're guarded. You're guarded because you felt like they did too much. Mm-hmm. What's behind it? Six of Cups. You felt like they did too much in the past. Yeah. Damn. What's behind the fool? The fool to the ace of pentacles. They coming in. They taking this leap of faith. They coming in. They want something serious with you. I'm telling you, they strategizing it right now. How to be spontaneous. <laughs> okay? This person is about to take a risk. You're the only one that was able to set boundaries with this person. Yeah? To a sword. This person knows they need to make a decision. King of Wands. And they, they come yet. Yeah, that's the decision right there. King of Wands, the temperance. I can't make it up. That's what they doing. They about to take action. They want to reconcile. Mm-hmm. Yep. Queen of Pentacles. Behind the Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles and Three of Pentacles. They want to work with you. They want to collab with you. They see you as wifey material or hubby material. Okay. Yep. Four Pentacles. There's somebody who's holding on to you. They don't want to miss out on an opportunity. That's why they make it plans to come towards you. Yeah. They leave it in one situation behind. Give me a part of the Queen of Pentacles. They leave it somebody else behind. Uh, somebody leave it. I cannot make it up. Somebody is leaving somebody behind to come towards you. The chariot. I felt it. The chariot to the eight of pentacles. Somebody could travel for work. Maybe this person's a truck driver. Somebody could, you know, do Uber, Lyft. Um, what's the other one? I don't know. Yeah, that. They could, um, yeah, somebody could drive for work, make money while they drive for work. or But somebody is moving on. The Magician, Page of Pentacles, Eight of Cups. It's like somebody is working on their finances, their career at this time, or, you know, they're working on their money right now to manifest, to bust some type of move so they can walk away from a, oh, wow. So somebody could be in a situation with somebody else, and they could be possibly staying with them until they get their money right, and then they're going to leave. Eight of Swords, the Seven of Wands. Somebody could be feeling trapped right now. Or block because of their finances. So maybe they settle with, oh, you know what? Come on, Sophie. We got to do about this. Ooh, child. Give me a card on the fool. Nine of Pentacles. Let's get this card. 
the lovers. I'm telling you, somebody got a choice between um, you and someone else. Somebody is leaving someone else, deciding to go about their business, be single, so they can take with the fool card, take this leap of faith. Because somebody, somebody is strategizing bringing you a serious offer, but they, they leave us, you know, you know what? Ten of Pentacles. <laughs> Sussies, for some of you guys, it looks like to me, <laughs> mm. y'all doing very well for yourself. Very well for yourself, okay? I see the Seven of Cups somewhere. Mm. I see the somewhere. I forgot where I see it for that. Well, you guys got a, excuse me, a lot of options. Or somebody knows that you have options. Yeah, it's like somebody's trying to sneak away from one situation and be single because they want to move on. They want to, they want to, somebody want to build a, somebody's coming closer to you. You got the nine of pentacles, clear file with the, the ten, the, you got ten of pentacles, ace of pentacles. Three of swords, the hangman. Whoever they surrender, I mean, whoever they, they letting go, you know, surrender and sacrificing, you know, deciding to leave behind, somebody's going to be hurt. Pisces energy, five of pentacles, and reverse. Mm. You know why the other person going to be hurt? Because somebody was, somebody staying somewhere because they're they not doing too good with their finances. And once they get their finances right, they leaving. Mm -hmm. Five pinnacles ever. Once somebody get out of this situation, they are leaving. They already know they're going about their business. But whoever the third party is, they leaving behind. Somebody gonna be hurt. Yeah, the will of fortune. When this change happened, the towel, ooh, somebody going down. Four of wands, six of pinnacles. I'm telling you, somebody is. Somebody only had plans on giving to the person who they want to marry and be with, and that's you. And it's gonna cause a tower when this change happened. King of Swords, that's the truth. Mm -hmm. Oh, here go the Seven of Cups. This person want to communicate. They talking. They want to talk to you. This could be, you could have met this person on online dating, Seven of Cups, Page of Cups, The Moon, to so The Eight of Wands. You could have met this person online. Or maybe there's somebody who has a lot, who, who dates a lot of people. Maybe this person do a lot of online dating, a lot of hookups. And they can hide that. This person could be meeting people online. Be careful with that. The Strength card to the Empress. But you look at your Empress standing in your power. Strength card, Empress. Beautiful energy. With the Queen of Wands. Oh, yeah, Page of Sword. That's why they're watching you. Strength card, Empress, Queen of Wands. Oh, you a bad man, my jammy. Mm-hmm. I'm hearing climbing up the ladder. So you, so somebody sees you reaching for the stars, you're going up. I'm hearing climbing up the ladder. So you, 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 okay, so somebody's seeing you go up. Or you moving up. Big things are happening for you. You could be deciding to remain single. Maybe you decide to not even deal with this person. Ace, not a pinnacles to the ace of pinnacles. I heard going up. So maybe you took all the steps that you needed. You've been working hard on yourself. Because you know there's no elevator to success. So you've been taking step by step by step. I just heard going up. The ladder, you're going up. Oh, you about to take off, baby. You about to take off. Oh, child, you about to take off. <laughs> you about to take off, sun seeds. Wow. Mm, 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 mm. Somebody, oh, whoa. I just, oh, sun seeds. Wow. Three, three, three. Mm. Three, three, three. You could be seeing three, three, three. It's three, three, three on my clock as I look up. Wow. You're moving on up to the top. 
We finally got a piece of the pie. What she said, it took a whole lot of just for me and just to get up to the hill. Now we up in the big league. Ooh, shit. Some of y'all saying you gonna be patient with your twin and the other ones, I'm just gonna keep it funky with you. Y'all say the hell with that situation. <laughs> I'm not playing with y'all sons. Why y'all play so much? Let me get you guys a four chicken. The answers you've been yearning for are within reach. So Spirit is saying the answers that you guys have been yearning for, they are within reach. Mm. I see you guys moving on. While this person is taking their time to change, you are elevated. You are elevated. They say Rome wasn't built in a night. They ain't lying about that. But your Roman has already arrived. Mm -hmm. Somebody name could be Megan. Somebody name could be Brittany. Um, the numbers we have is 12, 15, 26, 31, 47, and 52. Twelve, fifteen, twenty-six, thirty-one, forty-seven, fifty-two. Somebody name could be Allison. Somebody could like to dance a lot as well. You like to dance? Move your body, move your body, move your body. <laughs> Let's get this card. We got Sagittarius. We have Libra. Somebody name could be Mariah. We have Leo. We have Scorpio. We have Taurus, and we have Gemini, okay? And Pisces under the bottom. I love you guys so very much. 